so y'all been dying for me to talk about this topic. Honestly, I really, <laughs> I really don't know what else I can say. I mean, we're we going to do the video anyways, because content and coin, coin and content. But I've been told y'all that Zeus is a problem. And I've been told y'all that y'all need to call 911. But I'm glad y'all are finally, finally listening. Let's talk about it. I know y'all want to get to the tea, and baby, we will. But for those of y'all that's been living under a rock, baby, my name is Scott Santana. I've only been on YouTube since I was 2016. Started off going viral, telling stories about my crazy life. A couple of years later, I started doing ratchet recipes, went viral on TikTok. Then I opened up a channel, a lot of souls, where I was, you know, using my spiritual and psychic gifts to help the girls and whip them back into alignment. In other words, baby, she's gifted. And see, now I'm here to share all of those gifts on one channel. Beside me, whether it's a deep dive, a commentary video, cooking music, Reading Harvest Souls. Baby, if I want to upload a video of me picking my nose and breathing for 60 minutes, I'm into it. My house, my rules. I mean, I just ask that y'all follow me over on Twitter so I can stop talking to myself. And before you go and try to seek help and seek therapy, baby, seek me. Go to my website and book yourself a personal reading if you need one. Now, feel free to sound off in the comments, but be respectful and act like you got that act right. Because, baby, while you trying to be funny, I'll be my and hilarious and take the show on the road every time now this channel is for critical thinkers we may not always agree you may not always even like me but one thing's for sure your life will be changed after experiencing me so subscribe okay. and if you can afford to take a quarter and throw it into a jar every day and it's not gonna leave you like homeless or destitute baby then you can afford the channel memberships go ahead and click that join button or go to patreon it's really your choice whatever you prefer just give me them coins run me my coins Nah, enough of me rambling, child. I think we made it past the part that was needed to get this video monetized, child. Nah, you could be going. Nah. Let's get into it. I want people to have fun. Let's kick back. Let's get into a little tea. Let's not get too crazy, but let's enjoy the sip. But let's get to the chi chi, the kiki, the, the internet bull. What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Ch 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 Ch, and we are back for another. Let's talk about it because y'all have been <laughs> y'all have been ringing up my line like Sky, Sky. When you going to talk about Stunner? When you going to talk about Lemmy? Oh my God! When you going to talk about Jamisha? They all getting shut down. You got to come back. You got to talk about Stunner. Stunner girl live. Don't forget about her live. <sighs> That's all I got. That's all I got because I've been telling y'all. I've been telling y'all since Baddie South to call the cops on Zeus. I've been telling y'all since Baddie South to call the cops on Zeus. It is what it is. It is what it is. But y'all wanted me to go ahead and get into it. So, child, let's go ahead and get into this goddamn live. He should have did that. Oh, we're not doing the music. We're not doing the music. And I'm also not sitting here for an hour. So we're going we gonna to bump around. It's the first text message she's ever sent me. What's the date on that? I advise you niggas not to get me started, pussy. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas? Okay, so it says, hey, it's Scotty. Donna. Let me go down. Let me keep the thing on the phone so y'all can see this. Body because it's bitch hitting. So that nigga ate your booty, babe. <laughs> not the same. It's a big difference. Or, um, I made up these text messages. I'm trying to scroll down to where it starts off. Oh, she is too much music going on. Yeah, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. It's too much music going on in the background. And this, they not about to, mm -mm, I'm not about to get a copyright. So let me go ahead and figure this out real quick. Okay, let's see what we can find. Okay, so today, Stunner Girl woke up and felt like she wanted to expose Zeus Network, and she had time today, and she dropped all her receipts, so you guys can see, and then I'll be uploading the video that she uploaded after this. She say is living good is fucking Natalie, and I'm gonna leave it at that, and I hope a do come up on this 
trying to attest or go against what the f I'm saying because just don't want to do that. Y'all got to stop thinking just because it's flexing like they got money and they got followers and they making. Bro, these is living a fucking life if y'all really fucking knew the truth. And I'm damn near talking about every single last one of them hoes. And I'm not leaving near out. If your workplace and, and you're working with like 10 other people, right? And they're letting the boss and the higher uppers always talk to them crazy, yell at them, do all these things. And you're like the only motherfucker that I really be like, bitch, I'm not having that. And then people, they respect me. So everybody else sees that. So they be mad about that. They're jealous of me. They don't like that. But I'm always going to be into it with them because I'm the only one probably say is living good is fucking out. Girl, I don't understand shit of what she just said. Okay, let's see if we can find something better. These receipts about to be all over the place, y'all. I'm not even going to hold you. Like I said, I was going to play the Instagram live, but she got music playing in the background. And I don't know how long that lasts. So we just going to rely on TikTok. Honestly, by this point, y'all are pretty much heard the story. So y'all really just here for my opinion, but... For me, I'm catching up, so we're going to go through it together. I know. This was the day that I was leaving the show. Oh, no, no. This was the day I was getting my makeup done before I was leaving. And then um, old girl's business got exposed and shit. And then they was already beefing because the other bitch been around before her. You feel me? Like, I remember when I had on my birthday, on my birthday weekend, when I had went to that hotel, I think it was like the one. But he was not having dinner with this bitch. And I asked him, who the fuck is, who is that? And then he was saying that was his bitch. So I never knew like she was going to be on the show or nothing. I thought she was just another girl. So she's talking about the fact that Anna was already around before Scotty. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Unless she's talking about Razor. Because at this point, everybody done fucked with Lemmy. I saw something today that said Natalie is fucking him. Or was fucking him. Child. <sighs> this is crazy. So we got Scotty. We got T, we got Razor, we got Anna Mac. Well, I don't know if T fucked him. I think he just wanted her. I don't know if T fucked him though. Girl, the um, Anna girl, they was together in a fucking hotel, and I feel like I got a video of that shit because we was eating at the bar. But anyways, um, yeah, the fucking I heard all the shit. The bitch was saying he gave her the clap, and and that he be dogging her and doing her hella bad and all this other shit. And, you know, that's around the time I felt, like, some compassion for Scotty. Because I really feel like she's, like, just a weak-ass, lame-ass bitch. But it's, like, bitches like her is, like, you feel compassion for her because it's, like, damn, bitch, you're really a weak-ass bitch. But it'd be, like, you know, you don't want the bitch to get bullied and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like in her situation, she just was, like, a bitch that fell in love with her trick. And y'all know what the funniest part is that Natalie be mad about? Because and you know what's crazy? Y'all bitches do this shit every day, and then y'all will get online and be like, Oh, niggas ain't shit, niggas ain't shit. Oh, niggas ain't shit. But y'all do the same shit that Scotty's doing every single day. Every single day. Or fall in love with a trick or fall in love with the wrong person, fall in love with somebody who clearly made it clear that they don't wanna be anything more than just friends and fuck buddies. Thinking that that pussy, that that baby, that that cooking, that all of that is going to change that man, and it don't. And then when it don't, then y'all go get on basketball wives or real housewives, and then you make a living off of how niggas ain't shit. When really, you just have no boundaries. Poor boundaries. Poor boundaries and a lack of judgment. Natalie's always like, Lemmy doesn't even really know. She's really a fucking whore. And da -da 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 -da. I used to have this bitch on the jets. She used to be on the jet with me, eating pussy and popping it everywhere. And he thinks that he thinks that that one time we got on the jet was her first plane ride. And he didn't even know. Like, she just be so mad because he don't know the tea about her. So she was like, yeah, you remember when we got on the jet and then he couldn't move his seat and Scotty went over there and pushed the buttons. And he was like, how does she even know that? Duh, because the bitch been popping coochie from here to mother fucking Africa. You're just a dumbass trick, like I said. You're just like a little boy who just hit his growth spur and got a little couple dollars and barely started playing with hoes, playing with checks. So, of course, you can never... Also, y'all got to keep in mind that Lemmy is young. Lemon Pepper is young. He was born in 86. So, the boy is only like, literally like, only like 39 at the oldest. He's 39. 
So like 38, 39. So like everybody is his age. And this is why sometimes, child, you can't do shit with people your age because it's just be a conflict of interest. <clears throat> it's kind of like when kids who just graduate college, like immediately go back and try to teach at high schools. It's like, mm, that's too, mm, mm, it's the maturity there. And then especially with somebody like Lemmy, who clearly he ain't never been that nigga in real life, clearly, until he came across money. He's that person where, you know, you get something that's of power or of use to other people. And then suddenly everybody started fucking with you. And then now he's abusing that power. But listen, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Um, while I do feel like a Zeus documentary will come someday, surviving Zeus, all of that, I don't feel bad for nobody because everybody's willing participants. That's why I wouldn't have a problem had they if they was like, Scott, come host a reunion. I would, I would go do it. Because it's not, like, this is very, very different. And I want to make that clear. As much as we get on them, I feel like it's very different here. That, put it this way. Because, child, it could be a whole deeper other conversation. I feel like a lot of times people do know. Like, while there are real cases and real victims and, and real, you know, like sexual assaults and all of that going on, not every single case is that. And we're not going to make it that. Some people see the lifestyle. They see the glitz and the glam. And they like, oh, all I got to do is fuck on you. All I got to do is like, you know, let you like slut me out for a couple of dollars in this lifestyle. Okay, cool. But then when shit started getting too crazy and then you started trying to act like you was a victim the whole time, that's when I have a problem with it. It's like, don't be a groupie and then try to do a whole, uh, what, what you call it? What what was the what was the uh me too? Like do a whole me too movement later. Like it can't be groupie culture, but then you scream at me too in 10 years. It can't be. It can't be. I know in 2024, y'all love to be like, oh, you know, you have the right to say no at any time. And you do. You most definitely do. But again, for me, y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want to do. For me, I'm not going as hard and wasting my energy as much. For somebody who was a willing participant. My heart goes out to people who. You know. Ha have no choice. And it's just like. The choice was taken from them rather. But if you knew what you were signing up for. And you signed up to be a groupie. Whether it became too much. Or did it, that's on you. That's on you. So I'm looking at everybody that's involved with this. The whole Zeus Network scandal. Natalie. Scotty. Razor. T. Anna. Hell. Even Stunner. Stunner don't get brownie points for exposing Zeus and, and telling all. Bitch, you was there and you profited until it didn't profit no more. And now you want to have Mad Day and tell all the, all the company secrets. I don't respect that either. Just like I don't respect Nene, who you sat there and you profited off a of housewives for years. But then all of a sudden, when you get fired, now all of a sudden Andy Cohen is a cokehead racist and all of this, that, and the third was happening. Okay, but it was cute when you was getting them checks though, right? So, you know, all of this shit is just entertainment and just, for, you know, shit for us to kiki and giggle over. But I don't respect none of these bitches. None of them. Not near one of them. Not even Stunner for, for telling it all. Because, again, you profited it and you you was happy, you know, cashing them checks, wasn't you? So, why you got all this mouth now? Because I'm sure for the right price, you you probably shut up and keep dealing like you've been doing smell a hoe on her because you're not a boy you're not a dog a bitch like her could pull the wool over your eyes but see she would have been in a good position though if she would have played her cards right and listened to what the fuck i told her when i first met her and i have a really good thing like when i meet people i could read them immediately like i could tell you about yourself i swear to god she probably psychic that'd be the thing because you know spirituality isn't pushed because you know knowledge is power and <laughs> why would this world this capitalistic patriarchy Okay, this capitalistic patriarchy type of world. Why, why would, why would they push spirituality? Knowledge is power. Y'all gotta pay to go to college. Like, let's start there. <laughs> so the girl is probably psychic or just extremely intuitive. A lot of people are, but then they suppress it. That's a whole other video for another day. So when I I peeped her whole situation within five minutes, and I literally told her, "Bitch, do not fall in love with your trick." And guess what the dumb bitch did. Not only did she fell in love, she fell into a motherfucking arrangement. Mm. 
This nigga got this bitch in a $3,000 apartment a month. Then the bitch Natalie said the bitch don't even get no purses off the nigga. She don't even get no good allowance. The only thing she get is her rent pay, and he got cameras in her house. So he can see everything she motherfucking do. Bitch, you let you playing girlfriend with the trick, bitch. Playing girlfriend with the trick, bitch. Okay. Not only are you playing girlfriend, bitch, why are you doing GFE with a John? Why? He is a John. He is a client. You need to treat him accordingly. Treat him accordingly, bitch. He's a fucking client. He's a client. Treat him as such. He's a John. He pays for your pussy. Why are you falling in love with a man and you know he got a wife? And then the wife is like, bitch, bitch. I never said that. I asked him. I'll go, oh, God. I asked him right front of face. I was like, I was like, your wife don't be tripping about none of this? She can't trip. Her whole family lives in my house. I pay all the bills. I take care of her and her family. Oh, I took her family. I know this is. And that's what niggas with money do. And honestly, listen, I'm not mad at none of it. None of it. What I get mad at, again, is all of y'all that sit here and y'all willingly sign up to be participants in these situations. Because we can sit here and kiki and giggle about Stunner Girl and Scotty and Lemmy and Janisha and what they know and what they don't know. But we could also, you know, turn the mirror back to real life. And let's talk about all of y'all that a, a nigga done made it clear. I don't want a relationship. But yet... You fuck on this nigga. You allow this nigga proximity to you. You allow, you allow this nigga inside you without a motherfucking condom. Then end up pregnant. Then decide you want to keep the baby because it's my body, my baby. But then still expect him to pay her. Like, <clears throat> please make it make sense. Please make it make sense. Like, y'all get caught up in these arrangements, quote unquote, every single day. And then it becomes everybody else's fault when you should have had discretion. You should have used discretion. And you should have had stronger boundaries to begin with. But no, you end up like Scotty, where you don't hold those strong boundaries. You don't have discretion. And then you will let your emotions rule you. You become blind and deaf to the bullshit of what's really going on. You act like you don't hear certain things or you make excuses. No, that's not what he really mean. Oh, no, but what he really, okay. This man told you and showed you up front who the fuck he was. You overlooked all of that for whatever vision you had in your head. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Men start women at zero. You got to earn a trust. You got you to gotta build up from there. Whereas women will start men at a full 100 because the second you meet a man, you're already thinking about what you want to name your kids, you know, how your marriage is going to look, how your house is going to look like you, you, you plan your whole life out the second you meet a man. And of course, it's not every single person. Of course. Okay, cool. If that's not you, brownie point. But most feminine energies, and when I say feminine, I'm not speaking exclusively to women because feminine is not exclusive to a gender. But feminine energy is intuition. It is emotions. But those emotions overrule that intuition. And boundaries comes with masculine energy. So, you know. This is everyday shit. Like I said, these are all grown adults. You know, um, people can say what they want about Lemmy, and we will. <laughs> but, I mean, this is a nigga who ain't never had nothing. He never had no bitches. He found the bitch who he could help, which is what a lot of guys with money end up doing. And for the life of me, I don't understand why y'all come and try to make it a... a I'm not even going to say it's a good or bad thing, but y'all come and y'all try to make it a thing to... I guess expose and tear these people down when really, again, y'all are signing up for these arrangements. It's working for you in this moment. So I don't want to hear shit later. And no, that doesn't give you the right to go like R-A-P-E someone and things like that. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, is that clearly, like Stunner just said, the arrangement with Janisha and Lemon Pepper is that we're going to be together. And, you know, because you need a green card and you need your family over here. Okay, cool. I'm taking care of your family and you taking care of me. You, you my bitch. And so you can't say nothing about these other dudes out there. Again, in 2024, every woman want to be on every reality show, every podcast talking about some. I can't date a dude with money because a dude with money going to feel like he can do it. And is. And is. So you can either do date that. Or look for something different. No one's forcing you into that situation. But yet, 
Women will get into that situation and then want to fucking complain later. Just be single. Practice self-love. Like, y'all be praying to a man for a man and then wonder why <laughs> no soulmate has shown up. Like, mm, that... Mm. We're going to start getting back into my line of souls bag. I keep saying that, child, because I used to talk about that all the time. But yes, most definitely praying to a man about a man. Let's start there. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we can find. Hey, boo. Stop playing on my top. Like, people, people mix that whole entire thing. Oh, Stunner Girl was only getting paid two to five K per season. Bitch, what the fuck do I look like? Like, I couldn't even believe when I went on TikTok and this girl on there said they got paid 3,600 for the whole season of Jocelyn's Cabaret. Like, bitch. Like, what? So y'all mixing, y'all mixing the extra show money and the agreement that me and they personally had. Y'all taking that, and when I said they're only trying to give me two thousand out per show, y'all taking that and making that seem like that's what I got paid for this season, bitch. You got me fucked up. Like, in 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 probably in a couple hours when I have time, I'm gonna go back to my motherfucking um history log. I'm gonna go back to my history log in my Chase account, and I'm gonna pull up every motherfucking deposit that's ever been sent to me from Zeus. And I got and I got pictures of checks. I got pictures of a fifty thousand dollar check I got from them. I don't have to lie about shit like that. I can show y'all. Matter of fact, and I pause because here's the thing that I don't like. I understand that at some point, like on Baddies West, it was getting embarrassing seeing them go to the club and fight over fifteen k a check. But how do we go from the girls fighting over a fifteen k club appearance check to now all of a sudden everybody and a mama is making fifty k on the show? Like when when did that come in? When did that start happening? And the fact that y'all are trying to normalize this and act like this is the standard, it's not. Now, nobody's saying that they deserve to be paid like $100 per episode, like on some love and hip hop type shit. But can y'all like, please stop trying to act like it's the standard for a, a bitch that don't nobody know to be on a reality show. That's not even a reality show for real, for real. It's on the app and it ain't, it ain't on TV. Like, it's, can y'all please stop trying to make like it's the standard for these people to be making 50 to 100k plus like it that's they'll be lucky if they make 10,000 but like this is not the norm like even if you go through the comments somebody said they did wet wet bad with that little 3k check I mean if she was on love and hip hop that's how much she would be getting these girls don't got spoiled by Zeus I see spoiled I told y'all was the highest paid I posted my contract I got my bag I was there for a day Everybody came off the show, set out. I mean, not matter of fact, let me go to the actual post. Let me go to the actual post on Instagram. It was the highest paid. I posted my contract. I got my bag. I was there for a day. Everybody came off the show, set out. I mean, not, I mean, the, the fans of that show. Sterner girl's lying. She didn't get now, bitches is coming out. Post your contract, bitch. You could bleep out all the shit. Post where the money, how much money you're getting. Because anything you bitches is getting is for free. They're not paying for BBLs, teeth. They're not paying for that shit. So it's not coming out the check. They're not paying those girls good for all the fighting, for all the fighting and drama. And just the, the treatment, how they getting talked to. No. 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 I told y'all I was the highest paid. I posted my contract. <coughs> I got my bag. I was there for a day. Okay. Everybody. So <coughs> she did a tweet saying, I've been having these receipts for hella long. I could have posted it. Why would I need clout off, bitches? I got more clout than you bitches don't even get booked. I'm just literally tired of motherfuckers fucking with me and constantly talking about me. I mean, she say the same thing every Came other day. Off the show set up. I mean. So Stunner Girl shares alleged text messages of Scotty admitting to sleeping with Lamel but getting checked. Okay, so Stunner says, I know somebody that talked to Anna. I don't know if I want to tell you. Scotty says, tell me. Stunner says, she said, Lemmy gave her chlamydia. Scotty says, what? and the fact that they put fire emojis up here, I don't like that. 
Like, girl, come on now. And I don't know if that was Stunner or the neighborhood talk, but like, come on. Why are we protecting his motherfucking identity? He'd be quick to tell everybody this is show and his, this is not work. No. Air his ass out. So Stunner says that shit's serious. Her close partner saying it like it's a joke, but it's not. And the person who told me she said it to herself out her own mouth. Scotty said he's never given me anything but before, but then again, I go to the doctor. She also has a boyfriend she fucks with while fucking him, but I go to the doctor regularly because I know what's going on. I take pills to make prevent. Mm. So Scotty taking prevention pills, Shab. I guess the girl on prep. Let me with find my out. Boss. <laughs> and y'all remember when I did this, right? Y'all remember when I did this? Let me see if I can go find it on my channel. Matter of fact, yeah, let me go see. Let me see if I can find it on my channel. What the hell did I call that video? Let me see. Okay, let's see if I can find that video. Uh, T versus everyone. No, 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 no. Which one was it? Which one was it? Come on. Surviving Zoo still coming up. Blame Production. Was it this one? No, it wasn't that one. I've done a lot of videos, shout. Hmm. Which one was it? Uh, uh, okay. Um, I can't find it. I cannot find it. I can't find it. Why can't I find it? Hi, my name is Steve. Did I title it that? We're going to check one more time. No, no, no. Let me type in Anna. Because if y'all didn't see this video, y'all can go back and, and watch it. Y'all can't go back and watch it. It's, it's somewhere on the channel, child. It's not coming up now because I can't think of what I called it. But I did a whole deep dive. I did a whole deep dive of the... Oh, right here. Animac tells all. So Animac allegedly smashed Zeus Network CEO and Blueface slit in her DMs. I did this a month ago. This video was a month ago, <laughs> y'all. So I've been telling y'all. I've been trying to put y'all on game. This video was a month ago. Okay? Almost two months ago. Okay, and we also talked about how Blueface slid in her DMs. Maybe I need to repost that for the new girls. Okay, but let's go ahead and go back to um to what she's talking on this Instagram post. Okay, because she posted a clip of the you know part within How My Name's T's podcast where basically T was doing this game of never have I ever slept with my boss, and y'all see. <laughs> that fake ass laugh. Yo, see, see. That with my boss. And T already know. <laughs> yo, yo, T. T already know. Okay, so Lamel says people out here have nothing better to do other than to make up wild stories and lies, probably because Zeus isn't signing their checks or funding their lives anymore. Folks need to find some business, preferably outside of Zeus. Or if they want to be on baddies, just say that. Ooh, that was a little. Okay. Mm, come on, reading Rainbow. Come on. <laughs> it really is giving Reed and Rainbow. Because why he trying to read the fuck out of her with his rainbow ass? Girl, come on, Skittle Bag. If not, they should go focus on getting those monthly listeners up on Spotify. Child, he's shitting rainbows at this point. Oh, my God. He is getting in Stunner's ass. He says, it's looking kind of like compared to them so-called partner. Oh. He really want to take it there. He really want to take it there. This nigga said, baby, it's dear time. It's, it, drop everything and read, baby. They think they're out here clearing something, but they need to focus on clearing those records that's not coming out. Oh, <laughs> who taught this shady queen how to read? This how you know mm, this man got to be gay. This man got to be gay. Like which, which drag queen set him down to write this? Oh my god! 
certain cast members have been off the show for damn near a year. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It hasn't been a year, baby. It hasn't been a year. We just saw a stunner girl in the summer. Okay, let's not. Let's not. We just saw a stunner girl in the summer. Technically, we saw her in September when we got the first episode of Baddies. But like that, y'all started filming at the end of July. So like, let's not act like. Because that hasn't been a year, baby. Okay, but let's keep going. Certain cast members have been off the show for damn near a year, but because they don't have any other business or lives, watch it be out. Watch watch it be out me, Zeus, for the next 30 days. Girl, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. We are listen, go like the video for his loss. Okay, like the video for his loss. Queen of the shit, who you know running up the green till it slip. Throwing ass in the digit turn on my head, so the bitch talk shit, then it shout to the lips, bitch. All my bitch say ignorant, all my bitch say hella bit. All my bitch say in the club, unless you can't handle it. All my bitch say ignorant, all my bitch say hella bit. All my bitch say in the club. The Child, let me let me go ahead and find the next clip because Anna Mac then came out trying to deny sleeping with the nigga. So now you got two two lying niggas. Okay, so Anna Mac denied sleeping with Lemmy and contracting the STD. Bag Stunner Girl to prove who gave her that information. You thirsty for clout. Didn't Stunner Girl just say she saw both of them on at, like at a dinner? Like, didn't she just say that she saw both of them at a dinner? Like, didn't she just say she saw both of them at a dinner? Okay, but Anna says you weird as fuck because what friend told you this about me? Because I never have even had that. What the fuck? I don't even fuck with this motherfucker, so I'm really confused. Girl, so will we because we we just saw the clip. And look, look at look at me putting my two cents in. Look at me putting my two cents in. She literally sat on T podcast and said she did sleep with him. Let's talk about it. She says, you're weird as fuck because what friend told you this about me? Because I never even had... Oh, I, re I already read that, child. <sighs> she says, like, girl, be fucking for real. You bored as hell. Nobody knew who you was before you got back on Zeus, bitch. You had 100-something fo thousand followers. You got dropped from your label. Nobody gave a fuck about you. I don't know why the fuck you out here lying on my name. Please drop the makeup artist video. Whoever, whatever said what. Please, I'm begging y'all since I said it during filming. Y'all are weird as fuck. You're thirsty for clout. Mad as fuck you left baddies giving clout chaser. Suck my dick. Text on my op. False shit about me. Just a fake think you doing something. Loud and wrong. Never had no STD. Never. That nigga, y'all really be hating on a bitch. Never fuck that nigga. Y'all really be hating on a bitch. Are you sure? Oh, <laughs> right, you were sleeping with him, and see that that be my thing. I hate when people try to sit and gaslight. That really be my thing. Like just out, what just just say it, just say it, just say it. Like all the lying that that she's sitting here doing, and all the lying that he's sitting here doing. Like just say it, girl. So if it's an agreement between everybody, then what is like? What does it matter? If Scotty knows what's going on, if Anna knows what's going on, if Janisha knows what's going on, then what is the big deal? Why did you say I had it? I didn't say that. I just said I never had it. I've never given you that. Yeah, so, but I just don't get how, where I get, but I'm trying to understand what, she just, so y'all was talking about, Wait, so y'all was talking about y'all fighting and she just randomly just said Anna got chlamydia by, by Lemmy? No, I never said that me and you fought because of that. Not, I never even told her why we fought. She just said that you were going around at house, at the other house, saying that he gave you something. And I said, there's no way he gave that to her because... We don't even I fuck never, on each I've other. So, but my whole I thing is... Yeah, he couldn't have given you that because we wasn't even fucking on each other. This is during filming. I don't even understand what the fuck. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I told her I never. Yeah, so regardless, regardless of the fact is the bitch saying I was going around the other house saying that. When have we ever. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. 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 I'm not going to lie
she talking too much for me. She talking way too much for me. She sounds defensive and like she lying. Like she trying to get it get ahead of what Scotty's saying to like shut her up. And it's giving weirdo. And like the people in the comments saying, why are you pressing her when Stunna said it? So they did sleep with him. Anna, give it up, babe. Cat's out the bag. I just said he never given me that. Boom. So she just admitted it. Right. Because if he never gave it to you, <laughs> what would he have to give to you if he never had access to you? Hmm. Hmm. Right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Was there anything else that had came out? Was there anything else in regards to that that came out? I'm trying to go through my receipts, child. I got so many pages loaded off all these girls. Child. I'm thinking, let's go back to the original live. Okay, now where's the original live? Where is the original live? Okay. Yeah, we're going to go back to the original live and see if we can bounce around to a point without music. And shut it the fuck up. Um, that's when I was like, that's when I was in that video. Y'all see the video? I'm like, this your nigga? And then he was like, this is one of my bitches. And I was like, okay. And I looked at her and I'm like, so you, what bitch is you? And like, I didn't know at the time that them they were together. So I'm just sitting at the table like, I'm just peeping the shit out. Like, what the fuck is they doing? Like, you know? And then dude, then he start when he start chiming in, then I caught on because he was like, yeah, Scotty, you over there mad? Oh, you're mad. And then I looked at her and I was like, it ain't no reason for you to be mad. I was like, girl, I got my own nigga. And I'm like, this your nigga? And then he was like, this is one of my bitches. And I was like, okay. And I looked at her and I'm like, so you, what bitch and is he you? he looked like the type and of nigga to say something like that. He looked like the type of nigga to say something like that because he wants everybody to view him as this something that he's not. He wants to be the big man on campus, the big dog, like stomping with the big dogs. Like he wants to be seen as the player player from the Himalayas. And it's not giving that. It's giving dweeb with money. And that's okay. Living your living your motherfucking truth. Like, see, that's what I mean. Like, people be doing too much gaslighting, too much manipulation, too much lying. Y'all be doing all of this for motherfuckers that really don't give a fuck at the end of the goddamn day. People talk about shit only because it's salacious. And a lie is always going to be more entertaining than the motherfucking truth. But I promise you, all of this shit would be dead, gone, buried, and we move on. If Lemmy just came out and said, listen... Whoever thought that this nerd was going to have billions of dollars and have all these bitches, okay? Like, <laughs> look at me. I am the man, okay? I got all of this money, and I'm funding. Now, I'm out here funding lifestyles. I'm out here changing careers, okay? I got this bad bitch, that bad bitch. Like, you would get a lot more respect than sitting here constantly trying to play this clean-cut guy. Again, on baddies with your fucking face blurred out. But then you want to go to the breakfast club and go to all of these black platforms where you gaslight the fuck out of us and make it seem like Zeus is the Hallmark channel. And it's so wholesome and, and, and you know, not fucking ratchet and ghetto like it is. And you try to present like one way to us when really it's something completely different. Just stand in your truth. And same for the rest of the girls. Just be like, listen, yeah, I know he got a girl, but they ain't got shit to do with me. My rent paid... Listen, just make sure that money here on the first. Matter of fact, the 31st, because I don't want no late fees. Okay, like like stand and get shit. Like, listen, it's a lot of things that I can't stand. I don't like people that don't stand on any shit. I don't like people who who are willing participants and then want to cry victim later. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't like none of this shit. Like everybody just look whack to me. Like, if I was Scotty, I would stand in it like. Baby, I ain't never got to worry about a bill because this nigga paying it. So I'm a, I don't care who you fucking just don't bring me back nothing. Okay, if you added a new girl to the harem, a new girl to the circle, I ain't even got to know the bitch name. I ain't even got to know what she look like. Just let me know so I could get tested a little bit more regularly. But as long as my shit is paid. Because at the end of the day, who who cares? What we going to do? Beat Scotty ass for, for, do, for <laughs> sleeping with the man? Like... <sighs> What are we going to do? Go beat Lemmy's ass for sleeping with all of these girls? Like, what really does it matter? Start laughing. She's like, she's like number four, number three. So then I looked at her and then I was like, oh, well, then you shouldn't be letting this nigga pump you up. Because I'm like, um, you know, the rule number one is you never supposed to uh, get in your feelings with a trick. And I said that right at the table to all of them, in front of all of them, gag them. All of them start laughing. And I'm like, that's going to be your downfall. I said, but me, I got a real nigga though and I uh, show my back. They don't even know my nigga standing across the street because we where we was at was Ocean Prime. So it's like, where we're sitting at is basically outside porch. So they're not even peeping. My niggas standing like 
across the street smoking a blunt, looking directly at us. So we get into all that. Da -da -da -da. And then they just was trying to just make her feel hella bad about herself. Like, oh, what are you going to do, Scotty? There's going to be so many new girls that are so beautiful, like Stena Girl, and they're going to come onto the show. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and they were just sitting there just like fucking with this bitch. And it was like, if I was like any other stupid ass bitch, it, we and her would have been fighting at the table. Like, you feel me? Because the shit they was just saying was just like fighting words. Like, you're basically telling this bitch like she's ugly. There's more beautiful girls than her. And da, da, da. But I kill, I'm the one that kills all that. Like, I let it be known, like, bitch, I got a nigga, I don't want your nigga, bitch, and don't get in feelings, don't get in your feelings with a trick. And then that's when we, we got outside and shit, and then, um, you know, the bitch was twerking, he was smacking that ass. And then that's when I knew they was hiding something, because when I put the video on him, he ran the fuck out the video. So I'm like, like, what the fuck is you hiding for? Like, that's the thing I don't understand. Like, nobody really cares, but it's like, what are you hiding it for? Like, where you, why are you hiding these? Didn't I just say that? <laughs> Didn't I just say that? You want to do all of this shit like you the man, but then you want to go running high like a little bitch. Bitches like, free these bitches out the cages, P. Come on. You be handcuffing the bitches. Wait, Stana. Stana, girl. Stana. Okay. Child, if that is not the cage calling the monkey back. Okay. If that is not the cage calling the bear back into it, girl. Stana. I don't think you're the right person to use that analogy. That metaphor. In the motherfucking club. You, but it's like, what are you hiding it for? Like, where you, why are you hiding these bitches? Like, free these bitches out the cages, P. You be handcuffed. Stunner, did you free that girl out the cage? The one you physically, literally had her in? <sighs> mm -hmm. the bitches in the motherfucking club. You be parking lot pimping the bitches everywhere we go. Like a fucking dog. Like, this bitch walk around like the fucking dog she holds. I swear to God. Quiet. Walking around with the fucking dog. Looking like the fucking dog. Being the fucking dog. So, you know, as I got on the show and shit, it's just like when I was there on my first season, I was like beefed up with everybody. I was beefed up with him. I was beefed up with the whole fucking production. Like, I was just beefed up because it was just hella weird shit happening. Like, they really felt like when I was on the show, they like, they really try to like make it to where I was just like, didn't have nobody. Like, they wanted me to be there just while, I, while they got outsiders coming in to fight me and hella shit. We wasn't going for that shit. You feel me? Like, but it's like, they do that weird shit. And I can see why, like, he was doing that with, like, Krishan and Blueface. I can see why. He would do, they do, like, the manipulation, try to get a motherfucker split up game. Like, messy shit. But me and my nigga don't go for none of that. My nigga never liked him. And it would be like, he didn't press this nigga. Like, Really didn't press this nigga because I remember this nigga told me I need to stop gang banging on TV or he said some stupid ass shit and I felt offended. So I called my niggas on him immediately. And I remember we had this like photo shoot for the like cover of um we was shooting the cover for the fucking show. And um that was already after I had got jumped and shit, and they was just doing hella foul shit, just letting me get jumped and all that. So I came up in the parking lot hella deep and his scary ass gonna go out there and send hella security, like I, I just want to talk to you guys. Um, can I just talk to your husband? Da -da -da. He did some scary ass shit, was breaking it down. Okay. But my whole thing would be with this dude is like. He acts like a straight female, like a bitch. Like, you act so... Because he is one. Because he is one. And that's what all of the girls are for. Another reason why we don't care, because we already can see that it's overcompensation. Everything about Lemmy is given overcompensation. Hell, the way that y'all fucking getting paid, allegedly. Okay? Krishan, you, Natalie, Scott, like... <laughs> overcompensation. You, that nigga acts like a motherfucking bitch and it'd be like for no reason like what do the point do this man be having to go on these interviews and get on instagram write paragraphs be trying to troll me okay i left your show like let it go you did a motherfucking i hate stunner girl tour you went on hella podcasts and then it's like bitch when i sit there and i and i gag y'all like i did today with that text message and it's crazy because like i could have been did that months ago if i was really tripping like I, you been gave them bitches clap bitch i could have been exposed you but i didn't it's like, I feel like I'm being... You did, though, Stana. You said something back in August. I remember. I just didn't do a video on it. But you did, though. You already did. Now it's just gaining more traction because the show was on. Too nice, y'all. Y'all think I'm being too nice? But it's like so many stories that I can get into with these weirdos. Please and then nothing I'm saying is it's all Stay factual. So for him to get on Instagram today when I wasn't even fucking talking to him and saying, oh, everything's fictional. Well, I, I can fucking hate his voice. Everything's fictional. None of the stories that she portrays are true. Uh, it's like you, a hit dog, were holler. I wasn't talking to you, bitch. I said you were her pimp. I wasn't talking to you, though. Because you are. 
Natalie is your bottom bitch, and it's time that you it's, that you admit that. Y'all be fucking. Y'all do. Oh, here we go. Wait. Y'all do. Mm, mm, mm. Let me let me slow this down. So I need to, I need to hear every last word. Let me slow it on down. And she be fucking because you are. Natalie is your bottom bitch, and it's time that you it's that you admit that. Y'all be fucking. Y'all do. Y'all do. And she be fucking the friend. But y'all too, y'all be fucking. Cause there ain't no motherfucking way in hell. And then they didn't say little shit too. Like they do little weird shit. Like we was in the club when I was just uh, at the baddies Easting, and I went to the club, only day I went to the club with them. And she was like, she was standing right next to me. She was like, turned to him and she was like, I want you tonight. So you're not fucking, but she wants you tonight. And it's just like, it's just some dick and pushy shit, my nigga. Like, you act like I'm over here saying you you motherfucking smoke crack. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like, and then I feel like the reason too I even dropped that tea on y'all a long time ago is because he be hella disrespectful and he can't disrespect me. And so y'all wonder why I left the show. I said it was for a lot of reasons because I demand my fucking respect. And that's why me and bro was always bumping heads all the time. Like, he's a scrawny little bitch. He knows he can't touch me. He knows he mm. can't fuck me. He knows he can't mm. even fucking look at me. So and it's I like, what can I do with you? Nothing. So you got to go. And honestly, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Because y'all like y'all know that this is the environment. So, like, even now with Stunner Girl, because this is not the first time Stunner Girl has said this. But even now that all of this shit has made it to the black blogs and whatnot, you would be a damn fool to go on Baddies Caribbean. This is the environment where they do not give a fuck. If we cannot use you, fuck you, whatever, like, we, you have no purpose for us. You serve us no purpose. If that wasn't clear from day one, that is the goal over there. We'll give you fame. We might give you a, a bit of a coin. But, like, what you willing to do for it? Who you willing to do for it? And if you take your happy ass over there or your broke ass over there because you need the money, I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear shit. Everybody is consenting adults. And that's what really be the problem because every bitch that he be casting is literally bitches that he's, that he's fucking. Like all the girls that he be getting on the shows and y'all be wondering why, like, where the fuck did they beef come or why are they so beefed out? Like, you don't even really know or it'll be over something small. That's because he's literally casting a group of bitches and then just sitting back and, and watching them fight over him for the whole season. Like, you're really a weirdo. You could tell bro was like a fucking <coughs> Now it makes sense why he's always involved. Because I asked that a couple of times on the reviews. I said, why is it that he's never around on Bad Boys? Or like Jocelyn's Cabaret and these other shows, but he's always around on baddies. Now that answers my question. Because on Jocelyn's Cabaret, I, I, I best believe, I best believe that Jocelyn's over there doing the same thing. But I mean, you can look at Jocelyn and tell that she's a pimp. Like everybody has joked about that. You can look and tell that Jocelyn and Ballistic be over there pimping the girls. Jocelyn has even said out her mouth that, yes, she will fuck on the girls or she'll look at look at ballistic and be like which one of these girls you want to bring back with us she said that out her mouth like confirmed so it's not like you know the other shows you know don't have shit going on chad i wonder what's going on over there on bad boys that'd be the realty to catch catch okay but now we know why why lemmy is always popping up on baddies but got his face blurred got his face blurred on baddies now i see why Mm-hmm. Geek in high school, and this is his first time having some bitches. For you, it's like that's what I said earlier. I'm like, it'd be so many raw bitches coming to them auditions and shit. And all the, the bitches that you pick is all bitches that you are fucking with. Literally, you're casting bitches just to come on the show and fight over your clap stain ass Miller mini dick bitch. The fuck are you talking about? And then it'd be real bitches like me. It's like, bro, a real bitch like me can only be around some sh goofy shit like this for, you know, it, it takes a toll. Like, a real bitch like me can't be around like that. No. Can't. So you're mad at me because I left? 
And you know what's so funny? He's a messy ass bitch. Like the day I was leaving, right? I remember um I told him, like, no, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta get to um wherever my show was. And when I was leaving, that nigga got in his feelings and he immediately posted, like, oh, I want Scarface for a replacement. And what's so funny is like I remember that. I remember that. I talked about it in my videos. Like, I remember I told them about her. I'm the one that got her in. Like, he didn't want nothing to do with her. Said she was dirty. Said she stank at the fucking grand opening. He said all this shit about her. And I walked her up to him and I was like, you need to put her on a show. And then that's when he got on a microphone and was like, okay, I'm going to put her on a show. Who wants, who wants her on a show? Da -da 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 -da. So it was like, he do that type of shit. Like, he's like a messy ass bitch. He tries to p get people to be against each other. It's just weird ass shit the nigga do. So that day he immediately, like when I said, I, I didn't even post yet that I was leaving. I had just, I told him I was finna go. Nigga tried to argue me down. And then that's when he started fucking with me on the internet and was subbing me and saying all the shit about me. And that's when I seen him in the lobby and I started telling him like, bitch, I'm gonna slap the fuck out you. Woo. And then he thought it was funny. He was like, no, it's gonna work good. It's not like that. Da -da -da -da. And then as soon as I leave, um, he was doing hella shit, just subbing me and talking about me, all because I said I'm leaving the network. Like, it's not that big of a deal, bro. If you feel like you around here making stars, bitch, make another one. Why does every bitch that you get on your platform already have followers? I already had 300K followers when I got on the platform. Why does every bitch that you get on the platform, you already fucking know? Like, it don't make no sense. And I really feel bad for um Scotty. Because she just, like, walks around like his little fucking pet. I'm starting to think she's a, a walking Frenchie. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to think that she's a that she's a that she's a living Frenchie. This bitch walk around sad all day, crying. He be having her cooped. That nigga be handcuffing the bitch P. I remember when we was out at my birthday, and my uh, big cousin, he was like standing next to her, like, like she was like standing behind him or something. That nigga came over there, and I'm talking about like made that bitch stand in the corner and look at the wall, like. I couldn't believe my motherfucking eyes, bro. I was like, bitch, you finna let this nigga in the club, bitch. Put you in a motherfucking corner, bitch. Like you on motherfucking timeout. I could get my big cousin on here right now. That's the one that Natalie was... That <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but, bro, he's like, he's like an um, insecure little bitch. I'm talking about hella insecure. Like, how you gonna make the bitch stand in the corner, P? In the club. We're in a club. It's a small space. She can't she can't stand in the section. He's about to have a fucking heart attack. Anybody. Like when I was just on No Jumper, um, the interviewer was like, Yeah, I was just in Vegas with him, bro. He he was he didn't even he was acting crazy. I, I couldn't even talk to the bitch. I couldn't look at the bitch. And then it's like nigga, like the uh shit that I had put on my Twitter today, that's just the truth. Oh, that's my song. Disney. Uh uh, it ain't about to be Mars. Yeah, they're in the fucking hotel. Child, this like channel will be theirs. <laughs> got a video of that shit because we was eating at the bar. But, anyways, um, yeah, the fucking, I heard all the shit the bitch was saying. He gave her the clap and, and that he be dogging her and doing her hella bad and all this other shit. And, you know, that's around the time I felt like some compassion for Scotty because I really feel like she's like just a weak ass, lame ass bitch. But it's like bitches like her is like, you feel compassion for it because it's like, damn, bitch, you're really a weak-ass bitch. But it'd be like, you know, you don't want the bitch to get bullied and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like in her situation, she just was like a bitch that fell in love with a trick. Not only did she fall in love, she fell into a motherfucking arrangement. This nigga got this bitch in a $3,000 apartment a month. Treat him accordingly, bitch. We call her free JD chat. <laughs> but no, all the real shit, though. And then it was like, I remember on my season, too. Um, her and Razor was just, just, they, they was going at it. Nigga, they was, I remember, we, that, oh, that scene when we was on a jet. Okay, that what really happened when we was on a jet. The bitch was trying to check me. And hold up, hold up. She getting into some tea. I remember on my season two, um, her and Razor was just, just, just they, they was going at it. Nigga, they was, I remember, we, that, oh, that scene when we was on a jet. Okay, that what really happened when we was on the jet. The bitch was trying to check me. And I wasn't letting her check me. 
Then she started to shift her and like her focus and her energy onto Scotty. I'm talking about this bitch. She was taking some shots and she got up like, Scotty, this is my dick. This is my dick, bitch. That's why you mad, bitch. This is my dick. And I'm gonna fuck your nigga. Ooh, just out of nowhere. Like this bitch was arguing with me and then just started thinking about Scotty. And so then we ended up fighting because she, when we was getting off the plane, she ran up in Scotty's face and she was like, this is my nigga, this is my dick. And then she was like, fuck you, stunner. In, in Scotty's face. I'm all the way in the back of the plane. Like, okay, bitch. I knew I was on your mind, bitch, on my mind. But like, she she told her, fuck you, stunner. And she was arguing with her. So I was like, bitch, this, I knew this bitch was thinking about me, bitch. But even that fucking whole plane ride was weird. That's when I got into it with them again. They started trying to play a game with the shots or whatever. I wasn't even, y'all remember, I was hella mad on the plane. I wasn't even paying attention to these motherfuckers. And then I remember um, they start playing the game, like the truth or shot. What is that shit when you when you take a shot? If you're not telling the truth or I forgot the shot game, whatever. They start, he start asking weird ass questions. He asked Scotty, has she ever got fucked in her butt? And I'm like, and she was like, I'm going to take a shot. And I'm like, okay, so they into some freaky shit. And then he was like, if you got, what did he say? How he worded it. He was like, if you guys have a crush on your boss take a shot i didn't take a shot Ooh. fucking um who else didn't take a shot oh my god <laughs> but i'll be surprised listen they all the same age and they all consent on adults miss me with the oh power struggle up uh, that's what happens when you got a boss that's the same age as you and I Zeus ain't never been professional. Take- Zeus ain't never been professional, and Zeus don't look like they got an HR. Come on now. So them same rules that would apply at a white, you know, t- professional company don't apply here. Take a shot now. I'm thinking about it. Oh no, I think the girl low didn't, but she took a shot for the other nigga, his little right hand partner, the one with the um, what is that shit called? The toupee on his head. But I didn't take a shot, and he was gonna say, "Stunner girl, you're fired." And I said, I was like, bro, stop fucking playing with me on God. Woo, woo. I started tripping immediately. He was like, you're fired, Stanger. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Bitch, you weren't kidding. You were not kidding. On oh, God, you was not kidding, nigga. You only said you was kidding when I got the tripping on your bitch ass. I just, Because that's just disrespectful. Like, bitch, you know I got a whole nigga like, don't ever, you're, you're fired. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was just joking. I was just joking. Your nerd ass was not joking, bitch. You started to joke, bitch, when you got called out your motherfucking name. That's when it became a joke. That's when it became a joke. When I began to call you all types of bitch ass little niggas, that's when it became a joke. So you know I told my man about that immediately. And then that's another thing that I used to hate too, but I would call my nigga like, like when the times we was out of state, like when that shit happened, we was out of state. I would call my nigga and put my nigga on speakerphone. They would be, boop. You're always calling your... That, that's a breach of security. Uh, nigga, my nigga started mobbing, started pushing up. Like, when I was in the autumn houses alone, my nigga would be there. It wasn't, no. You niggas wasn't gonna try to come touch on me while I'm in the house alone, bitch. No. Wasn't finna get me. It wasn't finna get me. But no, I would really call my nigga on the phone, like, when weird shit would be going on, and I have him on speakerphone. So, bro would always be like, do, do not start, just please don't be calling Trey. Please, just don't, don't call Trey this time. Please, uh, like, Bitch ass nigga. And then he thought he was hard because he has like this big bald security guy. And yeah, he be like crash jamming him out. And I don't know why he makes him feel like he's just some like street ass nigga. Like them niggas be so confused. It's so funny to me because one day Lemmy's like super square. And the next day he's like, I be with Jay Prince. And then the next day he's like, I gotta, I gotta separate myself from Jay Prince. They're like, there's too much going on. Like, bitch, you don't know what the fuck you want to be. Like, you don't know if you want to be a pimp, a hoe, a buster, a square, a motherfucking WWE referee. You got to pick your poison. You know what I'm saying? You have to. Them niggas is really mad, y'all. And I'm going to keep it a band because I got off with 250 and was there for a day. And that's why it's always going to be beef because they feel played. Not only that, I got another 25. Th- I, I fucking finessed them at another 25,000. To go shopping. And I said I was giving it to a motherfucking stylist. And I was. My stylist, it was a $25,000 budget. Oh, mama's. All for me. <laughs> so I will always hate me too. 
I didn't y'all didn't get no viral moments out of me for the 250 with the 25. That's 275. Y'all didn't get no viral moments out of me for that. I got ghost and I'm still getting paid and I'm still good. So I will be going around in interviews talking about me too. Child, so she used to scam it. I just want to know, Stunning Girl, if you got all of this money, why you ain't pay Sierra Hers to clear that beat? You got all of this money that you sitting here scamming, scamming, a scamming to get. Why you ain't pay Sierra her money to keep that beat? Let's wake that up. I would. Speaking of, I know this has been a long video, child. How about y'all wake up and like this video? Been like, been like, been like. Bitch, you ran off with the check. Oh, mamas. Sure did. And sure did. And you niggas can't touch me. You niggas can't fuck me. <laughs> ah, I would be sick too. Because it's real skeezers over there that's really busting it open for 3K. It's some real skeezers over there that and it's like, do y'all really think this man really got money, bruh? Y'all gotta really be broke niggas getting loans. Broke nigga is getting a loan. Uh, it's black owned. It's black owned. What is black owned? You know you them white folks. You gotta turn it. You be on the phone with them white folks. They be telling you what the fuck to do. Every time I used to ask him something like, oh, I think we should go here. He'll be like, I gotta run it past my, uh... What? If you're the boss, what fucking team do you got to run it past? What the fuck are you always talking about? You got to get approved for everything. Like, he had to literally get approved for my budget. Oh, that's good to know. So, it's given... Lemmy is very much like a Diddy, where he is a lot of a certain budget, and he's just more so the face of it, but he doesn't own. Okay, so it's given a Diddy, Ciroc, De Leon situation. Got it. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know. Um, we can't. And then remember when I was in the interview and I was telling y'all and I was trying to explain to the dude when I was like, they can't put on the paper that they're giving me 250 because he said that his higher uppers, they're going to be like, how, why is she getting all this money? So they had to put on the paper that I was getting a hundred thousand for four videos. Am I signed to Zeus? Come on now, rest cap. Why would my paperwork say I'm getting a hundred thousand? That's crazy. So we can talk about white people all day, and we will. But they know how to do business. They won't fuck you over, but they know how to do business. Because even they are like, why the fuck are we paying this bitch, let alone any bitch, 250 To do what? Girl, they <laughs> Taraji not even making that in movies. That's the gag, y'all, when you really think about it. Why are these girls getting paid more, allegedly, to be on baddies then these Hollywood stars are getting paid to be in these movies. Does that make sense? It's seeming to me that the girls with the highest salary must have the deepest throats. Yeah. Yeah. Then for four videos and then another 150 for the season. Make it make sense because he's on there lying. You're on there lying because you can't you can't do that. Then white folks gonna be on you. You had to put on my motherfucking contract that you were giving me a hundred thousand for four videos because you couldn't put on there that you was giving me two fifty. So who the fuck are you hiding from if it's black owned and you're the boss? Because if it's black owned and you're the boss, you can put whatever the fuck you want on the contract. Like who the fuck are you hiding from? Like this man is so cat with that low ass Cartier watch and that low ass chain. Like you finally went and got a chain. My chain's bigger than yours. Infinity Cuban, 500 grams. I'm tired of you walking around with the bitch Cartier. Like, I just don't understand this shit. And this bitch is like me. Nigga could never talk to me how he be doing Natalie. I'm talking about he got Natalie so in pocket. Like, 
That's really his stomp down. Y'all think I'm playing, but that's really his foots. And then this bitch be thinking she's slick. She be trying to be around this motherfucker recruiting bitches for them niggas. Like, bitch, you're not slick, bitch. Oh, baby. Should I wake it up again? Let's let's go ahead and wake it up again. Let's go ahead and wake it up again. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Did I put it? Oh, I didn't upload it. I didn't upload it, child. But I mean, same shit. Same shit. Same shit. Same shit. You're not slick, bitch. Natalie's <gasps> over eating hella pussy. Pussy peddler. For sure. I seen them. I I seen them one time. I remember I went to that show and I was hella sick and I didn't want to come out. They was leaving with a whole bus full of random ass bitches, and I'm like, I swear. And I and I and they when I walked past, the door was open. It bitch was on a bus naked. Natalie was bitch was on her motherfucking. She was doing a downward dog under some pussy, and I just walked past like, bitch, and you supposed to be married, bitch. Is this what you do, bitch? This is what you do behind your husband's back, bitch. That bitch then then motherfucking that bitch then motherfucking bro y'all seen on my story when my little ass cousin was slapping her ass my little cousin is fresh 18 bow 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 flat booty cheeks when we was at the groups y'all know like everything i be saying is facts like i don't know why these people be playing with me this shit really funny to me because it ain't like i'm exposing some real shit like i'm exposing some dick and pussy shit like you don't do no real shit it's just funny. This is actually funny because what are you? What the fuck are y'all hiding from? Like, what do these people be so scared about? Right. Why are you hiding, Scotty? Free Scotty too, bro. Free Scotty out the cages too. Free Scotty out the cages too. But back to her. It's like y'all see that on my story. It ended up on motherfucking um Hollywood Unlocked or whatever. My little cousin's fresh eighteen. Bow 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 in the back of this bitch. Bitch fucking with my other cousin. Bitch just fucking everywhere. Since I met Natalie, she just be fucking like, bitch, you fuck everywhere. Like, bitch, <laughs> you don't have no motherfucking morals to that cat, bitch. That's just a freelance cat. Literally, it's freelance. And then he be in his feelings like, Natalie can't bring niggas to dinners. She has to sneak and get hotels when we be in like different cities. The bitch would have to hide what she was doing from Lenny. So that's when I knew that them two were fucking. Like, mm. what are you, if this is your boss, what are you hiding? Like, why does it matter who you fuck? Like, you're already fu fucking off on your husband. So who the fuck is this man? Like, what the fuck are you hiding from this man? Like, this bitch, we think she'd be in the house. This bitch would FaceTime me in a motherfucking hotel rolling around with the dude, uh, Craig, or whatever the fuck his name. I don't remember his name. Curtis. He was from Bad Boys. But everywhere she went, like, every city, the bitch is rolling around, rolling around, rolling around, jump around crew, jump around crew, all over the bed. And then it's like, what are you so scared of that you're hiding it from Lemmy, bitch? Duh, because y'all fucking, that's your fucking pit, bitch. Like, stay in pocket, ho. You knew to hide, bitch. You knew you couldn't do that, bitch. You knew you couldn't be out of pocket in front of the nigga, bitch. He's gonna get that ass beat, bitch. You know better. The fuck is you talking about? You know better, bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know better, bitch. Mm-hmm. The bitch knows. The bitch wasn't getting loose in front of him. She sneaks off. She sneaks off and, 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 and goes to rooms. That's what she does. And then she gets that lip tap when she be getting smart. And then it'd be crazy. All oh, you bitches is taller than this nigga. If y'all come together and jump <laughs> Wait, on Look at the comment. Not do roly stank. <laughs> and then really stop. Tap that nigga out and stop playing bitches. Horse. And that's why I be feeling like you horse. He makes a great pimp for y'all because you horse really need guidance and instructions. Imagine if Lemmy wasn't there on set every day. What the fuck would these bitches be doing? Like, he's literally the light of their life. When he comes on set, they get all bright. They're trying to prove themselves. Their daddy's home. Like, really, we're, we're, like, what the fuck would these bitches be doing if he wasn't there? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they would be doing. I know, too. Um, When I met T, I met T that day, too. I liked T. But they were super jealous of her because he liked her. Mm -hmm. They were super mad about that. And then it'd be like, he a weirdo too, cause it's like you already got two bitches on the show that you really fuck with. Like them bitches is your bitches, and then you try to bring T on because you had a crush on her or whatever the case may be. So you try to have three bitches really going up. Have y'all ever noticed like all the bitches? So 
think back, think back to the whole game episode where they was dropped. Remember when they was in the um speed cart in place and all the girls ganked up on T? Now that makes sense exactly why Natalie was so rude to her. Because Natalie was the main person going around talking about, oh yeah, I invited T because I knew like I knew her for years. I was friends with her for years. But then when they all ganged up on T, now you know why. Now you know why. And this is why Natalie's energy was suddenly weird towards her friend that she personally invited to be on the show. Now you know. Is that Scotty fights? Every time they get into argument, they be like, ha ha, bitch, your nigga want me, bitch. That's why your nigga want me. Like this bitch be fighting tooth and nails with his hoe. That bitch want, she coming for the motherfucking number one spot. <laughs> Yo, that bitch really, she trying to step for the nigga though. I ain't, that bitch don't even fight that hard for her motherfucking self. And then her and Natalie be fighting like they in like a nasty little lesbian, like undercover lesbian relationship. Like Natalie be so mad at this bitch. Like, what are you so mad at her for? Like, she in that pussy. Stop. That's honestly what it gets when Natalie and Scotty fight. They talk about, oh, we sisters. It's giving, it's giving sister wives. It's giving kitty clickers. Because they really do be fighting like a lesbian couple. In that pussy and start gobbling that dick. That's why you're mad, bitch. You're not getting your pussy aid. Pussy's not purring. Mm, the pussy's not And purring. honestly and truly, you can't listen. Because I'm looking at different places now. And about all the all these goddamn places is twenty five hundred and up, okay, for a damn studio. So it's it's not the same flex as it was five years ago as it is in twenty twenty four to say, oh, he's paying for my three thousand dollar apartment, baby. That gets you a studio nowadays. Like that's not really, and we know she probably living in like L A. Like that's not really a flex. Like three thousand is really what like a lot of these apartments are going for now. Because of inflation. So, like, girl, you're going to need... I'm going to need... Listen, if Scotty going to insist on still fucking around with Lemmy, baby, I'm going to need you to up your price. I'm going to need you to, like... Can we do some contract negotiations? Like, can I get triple that? Because I feel like after three seasons of Baddies, what, she's been on South, she's been on East, she's been on West. Listen, I've been on three seasons of Baddies, so that means I'm going to need triple the, what you paying me. Period. Period bitch no she doesn't want your cheeks she doesn't want them anymore <laughs> yo these bitches are so funny bro i don't even know why she got on the internet the other day it was talking about me and you know it's so funny i was trying to ignore it. i did i ignored it for like a couple of days and then people kept sending it to me and sending it to me and sending it to me and i was all right bitch i'm finna flame you bitch i'm finna gash you bitch you know you know them bitches y'all seen the pictures uh, motherfucker Scotty used to be in the back of them cheeps like ho oh, ho America bitch <laughs> that's why they be fighting that bitch want to repussiate but you got y'all gotta think about it Scotty has to put on like this innocent act because I remember one time somebody at the table said that like uh they be fucking and then she was like me and Natalie don't be fucking and then Lemmy looked at her and was like y'all better not be uh, uh so she has to play this like innocent role and I think that's what Natalie really despises because she's like this bitch is a fucking slut she's a fucking slut and she's fucking playing <laughs> Now y'all know why. I mean, we already knew why Natalie went off on Scotty at a Jamaican restaurant, but now this makes even more sense as to why Natalie kept saying, Scotty, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing because now we realize that, oh, yes, like we already knew that Scotty and Lemmy was fucking around, but like now we are finding out that Scotty has to play down how she really is around Lemmy. Got it. <laughs> this bitch is a fucking slut. She's in her fucking playing a role, little fucking whore. She's acting fucking innocent. All the fucking like <laughs> <laughs> Natalie really do talk like that. She be hella mad that she be hella mad. Scotty can't be her little dirty whore. Ooh, be her nasty whore. Ooh, be her nasty whore. That's what the, that bitch be. She be boiling, bitch. She want she want the freaks to come out at night, and you know what I'm saying. <laughs> He he got the bitch tucked in tight, P. That's with the bitch. That's why y'all they be fighting. Mm -hmm. And then it's like he be having Natalie as his drill sergeant. So it'd be like, she just can't wait to whip the bitch in line. Like, underlay mommy. 
Yeeha, yeeha. Tu quieres but no cha. She be whipping that bitch in shape. She, he, she, every time, every time the bitch pisses off, let me, Nally, drill sergeant that bitch like she heard top wifey, top wifey in charge, bitch. Top wifey the bitch. Like, and it's really all because she can't be your dirty whore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. She want a nasty whore. That's all it be about. And then I feel like when she be putting on the front and like, I'm just so innocent. Natalie's brain be like, if she had like a picture motion in there, all she's remembering is like, ah, Scotty, legs crossed out on the jet. Scotty eating pussy, eating ass on the beach. It's just flipping through her mind. And she's sitting there, bitch, fuming out the mouth. Mad. Because she wants the freaking her to come out, bitch. That's what that be about. She wants her cheeks ate. She wants her cheeks ate. That's that's what it be about. You know what I'm saying? That's why the bitch be mad. She wants her cheeks clapped. So yeah, I got all I gotta say is tell these people to leave me alone. Because it's like I really got a video on my phone, and it's like not everybody asking I'm trying to go down thanks. for posting revenge <laughs> porn. I'm just not trying to go down for that. <laughs> I'm trying not to do that, bro. I've been spearing them. If y'all really think about it, too, what's this month? Uh, January? How, how long I was having that text message for? What was that? August? August? Was it August? Yeah, it was August. So, if I wanted whatever the fuck. Anyways, none of them bitches even have clout. They don't even be booked. When have you seen these bitches booked outside of there? They don't be booked anywhere. Y'all bitches be on a rap tour and don't even fucking rap. I'm just trying to, you know. What do you guys do outside of the show? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. Y'all do absolutely fucking nothing. And that's what and that's what be irritating me because it'd be like, I really be in my own world, be up in my crib, minding my motherfucking business, going through what the fuck I be going through, doing what the fuck I be doing. And these motherfuckers always got to say something. Bring up my name and say something. Stunning girl. Yeah. Um, I met Stunning girl at the auditions. Uh, Stunner Girl had 200k followers for game. Like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. I'm tired of your guys' fucking love rectangle. I was tired of it when I was there. I was just tired of just being around y'all. Especially you, you little shrimp. And it's just like, I can't fucking just get rid of this. Every It just keeps popping up. I go off. I go do songs with motherfuckers. Here he comes, popping up with whoever I just did a fucking song with. Like, why do you study try to follow in my footsteps? Leave me the fuck alone. Like, then you go trolling me, and then you go talking about me, and then everybody's just coming and telling me. Y'all don't be catching this shit. He'd be doing hella shit. Hey, I want a story. Like, he's really a little sassy bitch. And I still don't understand, though, how you guys are letting a nigga that's under y'all chin fuck y'all up. Be fucking you bitches up. Fucking you bitches up. Fucking you bitches up. Fucking you bitches and fucking you bitches up. Fucking you and then fucking you up. Fucking you and then fucking you up. Fucking you bitches and fucking you up. <laughs> I wish a nigga would try to say I'm lying, bro. A bitch ain't gonna just be texting like, oh, thank you, Senator, for telling me that. I'm already on, what the fuck pill she say? BV pills. I'm already on BV pills already. Because I already know that nigga got that motherfucking spaghetti. That nigga's cooking with a wet spaghetti. That bitch said she was on some pills to prevent anything in the future that means in her mind this nigga can have gonorrhea syphilis whatever the case may be because she knows that the niggas is slaying and dick around motherfucking zeus she already has a pill for protection for mm, the future mm. she got a pill put in her that's protecting her from anything that she can't see in the near future because she's already knowing what to expect and that is sad bitch is there even a pill that exists this bitch says she got a pill to prevent anything Bitch, wear a fucking condom, bitch. Like, the fuck, bitch, wear a condom. Right. And then the other bitch is so funny. It's just like, Stan is lying. She's lying. She's lying. And so what's crazy is like, the only reason why I really posted the names because the last time when I had talked about it, y'all kept saying that like, oh, if you ain't going to put it on the, leave it, if you ain't going to put it on the playground, ah, 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 making it seem like I'm just lying because I won't say their names. That's why I said, okay, y'all got the right bitch today. Then you got to think about it. I'm already fed up. These motherfuckers got my Instagram took. That was already just a big deal. Like, y'all even playing with me and taking my Instagram. And then, mind you, this shit happened months later. Like, T called me and was like, 
He does that all the time. She was even trying to convince me to be cool with him because she didn't want them to keep fucking my. I said, I'm not being cool with that nigga, nigga. I'll go get a motherfucking cybersecurity team before I ever. Oh, you guys are messing with my Instagram. That's what he do. Like when he get mad at fucking Scotty, he be telling the bitch like, when I met you, bitch, you had 10K followers. I built your platform and I'll take it away. Like, like, like he's her fucking granddad. Like, bitch, that shit don't move me. Nigga, I got a whole team behind me that's going to get the shit right back immediately. I'm not her. That's not going to move me to come fuck with y'all. If that's what you thought. That's just going to make me mad. And when I build shit up and I finally just explode, this is what you get, bitch. This is what you get. I'm talking about y'all whole soap opera. And I don't really even think anybody really cares, like, who you're fucking. It's just funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's funny that these are the people that motherfuckers is watching on TV. And if the real, the real, the real good shit is the shit that's not on camera. That's what the funny part is. Like, the real tea is just not on camera. And that's facts. So I don't think nobody really cares. I don't even care. I just be thinking it's funny because they be letting this little elf man play with them. And then it's like, you bitches hype him up so bad that he feels like he could just be disrespecting every bitch. And it's like, no, you, you ran into a bitch like me, bitch. You ran into a bitch like me. And I for sure done did more shit than you out here. So I already look at you like you're a bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they they hinder this nigga's growth. Yeah, so y'all hoes felt me today because y'all bitches is the reason why this little fucking plankton bastard is just running around wild. You bitches are the fucking reason. You whores are the source. You whores is why penguin bastard, plankton bastard is just on the motherfucking loose running rampage. And if I really blame you, you whores, I do. Because y'all bitches is the type of bitches y'all can get motherfucking stomped on, spit on, bitch, called everything but a, but the but a mother of God. And y'all gonna be right back begging, 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 begging to be on that motherfucking show. You know what's so funny? I just found this text message. I just found this text message when um, Natalie was saying Piggy was Sydney. She was saying that. But I'm gonna show y'all how desperate bitches be, though. Where is it at? It's just the fact that, like, it ain't that serious, ma. If all y'all bitches, how y'all be acting like, oh, y'all some big boss, Ricky Ross, Rose. All y'all bitches be acting like y'all some big boss bitches, but y'all be letting that nigga fuck y'all over, bitch. And y'all do anything to just stay on TV, getting dudded out. Oh, look at this is it. Eh. Y'all see this? Oof, when was this? August? It said, girl, why is Biggie the new Sydney? This one, Natalie texted me. She showed up to our tour booking, drove nine hours, says I have my suitcase. Says I have my suitcase in the car. I'm ready to be on the road. You look what I media said. I said, that was Lemmy. She said, Lemmy said, um, I don't know about that. Now I swear to God, he walked away. But my ass said, Biggie. And this bitch had the audacity, this bitch had the audacity to come to their defense today. Do you see what they say about you? They say this to your face, bitch. Like, let's not even play games. That Yeah, because that's another part that, I, that I'll that be forgetting to mention when I speak about Biggie. She was not supposed to be on the season. She marched her way back into the season. So <clears throat> that's why she's a quote-unquote replacement. But she wasn't supposed to be on the season. So, just remember that when y'all be going up for her because all of a sudden it's her redemption season. I just told y'all this was a text from Natalie. Let me let me scroll up since if y'all if y'all don't know if it's her or not. Oh, matter of fact, here goes a video of her. I know she was sending me a video of something something that was happening when I wasn't there. But yeah, but this is how the people that you sticking up for talk about you. We're gonna do some skill shots on those texts, boo. Okay, and this is my old phone. This is the one that has all the tea in it. This is the phone that I had when I was on, um, when I was on the fucking shit. But it's just crazy to me. Like, y'all really gotta, y'all really gotta do better. Y'all gotta come together as a motherfucking cheerleading squad, bitch. Put y'all motherfucking pom poms, bitch, in. And y'all need to come up with a master plan. Y'all need to whoop that nigga's ass. Y'all need to whoop his ass. Somebody grab a pan. Somebody grab a belt. Grab a shoe. And the motherfucker's only like four foot fucking nine. One of you big bitches, Scotty's a big bitch. You're taller than him, bitch. I know you be looking down at him, bitch. Chris, punch that straight, bitch. Punch down, bitch. I'm gonna need y'all to come together as a collective group and whoop his ass. You hear me? Or, bitch, go back to motherfucking cheer camp, bitch. That's what I need you hoes to do. Okay? Y'all have a good night.
I mean, I pretty much agree with everything that Stana said. I pretty much agree with everything that she said. Um, I guess the biggest shock or the biggest takeaway for me is that Natalie is the main one fucking on him. We already knew that Scotty was fucking on him. We already knew that Razor was. We knew that he wanted tea. But the shocker for me is Natalie. <sighs> wow. But honestly, I'm not mad. I'm not, again, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Um, this type of shit reminds me of the gay community. You know, this This is exactly how, this, everything that we're hearing with Zeus and this and the third, this is exactly how the nightlife community is. Exactly how the nightlife community is, especially in the gay community, especially in New York. So I'm not surprised by any of it. I've seen shit like this. I partake, partook in shit like this. Like, so I don't have strong opinions. My whole thing is just don't be a participant in something and then try to cry victim later. You know what you're signing up for. You know what you're signing up for. And then especially after this point in time when you have stunned doing these live streams and then all of this information making it to the blogs, if you still go and audition for Baddies Caribbean knowing all of this and knowing that you're a potential mark, okay, for this nigga to come in and psychologically abuse you and, and you know, hold your paychecks over, over your head unless you fuck up. Like, you already know this. So you're a damn fool if you still decide to audition. That's how I look at it. As long as everybody is consensual adults, that's all I will keep saying. As long as ain't nobody getting R-A-P-E-D over there, I don't care. Keep doing what y'all doing. I just wish that that's what the cameras was following. Because honestly and truly, don't nobody care. Again, if it is that everybody is consensual and agreeing, then it's okay. It's a free world. Maybe morally, maybe ethically, you know, you know, people might look down on, you know, you're doing se certain sexual acts and this, that, and the third. I'm not that type of bitch. Like, I've never been like that. Even since I was a little kid, I've always said, listen, baby, if I can escape a life of struggling and escape a life of poverty and this, that, and the third, by, just by fucking the top person, let's do it. Because I never, I never understood that. I never understood that. That whole, oh, I got to have my pride and this, that, and the girl, fuck all of that. Fuck your pride, fuck your ego. Like, is your bills paid? Like, is is your things taken together? Like, you know, taken care of. Like, fuck all of that. You're trying to have dignity for the world, but the world ain't paying your bills. So I don't care what Scotty is doing to have a roof over her head. I don't care what Natalie is doing to to fund her lifestyle and make sure that she good and that her child good and that her husband. Good. I don't care. I don't care. Again. My main thing is, is that as long as everybody's a willing participant and nobody's getting, getting R-A-P-E-D, because when we started getting into drugging and because, you know, that that was something that slipped out there about Smiley. I never ended up doing the video that I was supposed to do, but that's something that slipped out there about Smiley was that she was possibly drugged. And, you know, that's why all of that um was happening with Smiley, you know, during... Not that, but y'all y'all know when Smiley was like acting up and cutting up and all of that, like <sighs> that was some of the allegations out there. Mariah was saying that she had took a pill. So as long as ain't nobody getting drugged, because once shit like that starts happening, then it's like, okay, it becomes something else. But you know, if it's just like a whole bunch of people having sex and and this person fucking that one and this one is fucking behind their back and okay, it's salacious, but it is what it is. Like, that's literally everyday life, at least nightlife. I see the shit happen every time I'm outside. This person fucking that person, that person fucking that person behind your back, and then you know that these two people fuck them, but then once they done fucking, then you go fuck them to fuck over the other person. Like, I see that shit happen all the time. I don't know. But I'm going to be waiting, okay? I'm going to be waiting for my camera moment, okay? Whoever whoever going to get the documentary, uh, the docu documentary going, I'll be waiting on my camera time, on my moment. Okay, just make sure that y'all do do wait to, wait until after I host the reunion. Okay, wait until after I host the show on Zeus to do the documentary. Okay, because let me let me get my check first. Everybody else getting eight, they fifty thousand dollar checks. Let me get my five hundred thousand dollar check, child. But what happened? They got it. They if they could pay Krishan a million for a season. I'm sorry for a show up for a pop out. 
they can pay my ass five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, and that's just to say hello. That's just, that's my what, what um what's done a girl say? That's for my wardrobe. Okay, that's for my stylist. Okay, chow girl talking about some twenty five thousand girl. What what the hell was you buying? What the hell was you buying? If you don't take that twenty five k and go to Shein, chow. That's because y'all bitches trying to be dripped in the latest smooth glare and and chow acting like y'all really that bitch. If y'all don't take your ass over to get the, over to fashion over and get the dupe. $25,000 on damn clothes. I wish the fuck I would. As hot as rent is, shall as hot as eggs is, I can name 10 other things that that $25,000 could have went to. But I guess when you're getting paid $250,000 just to pop up for the two episodes that she did this season, child, I don't know. Definitely let me know down though in the comment box below what the fuck y'all thought about all of this. And um, stream my music. And if you want to book a reading, just DM me on Instagram. Chow, join the channel memberships, all of that good shit. Listen, I talk shit, but I also write hits. So y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. Universal bad bitch, everybody language. Everybody knows she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language. Everybody knows she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language. Everybody knows she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Universal bad bitch, everybody language. Everybody knows she the mud, mud, bad, bad. Fuck it up, love it how they cutting up. Now these niggas showing up, but wasn't when I'm coming up. Fuck it up, love it how they cutting up. Now these.